So let's welcome the archers. So recurve men playing on the bronze middle. On the target one, Behedin Ali from Egypt. On the target two, Mohammed Sharif from Egypt too. The line judges, Hussein Al-Din Fadal from Algeria. So an all Egyptian matchup for the recurve men's bronze medal here at the African Championships in Tunisia. Baha Eldin Ali, 21 year old on target number one up against Sheriff Mohammed, the 34 year old on target number two. And I've got to say, this one is incredibly difficult to call. It'll be Ali of Egypt to get us underway just as the wind starts to pick up. Do you have a, a gut feel for this one, Bernardo? Do you, it, it, it was the, the semi-finals were so strange, both of them in a way. Uh, I stand with you. I, I don't want to call any result here because uh, I think it could go either way. Um, uh, unfortunately, it's the match of the, the two who were ruining for costly mistakes they made before. Um, so definitely could go either way, but uh, yeah, they got to get their act together because it's worth a, a bronze medal and the last podium step at the, the continent, Continental Championships. No. 26, set by Ali. No. 27 for Muhammad and the two set points. Didn't see anything in particular there that would suggest that that's going to change on the basis of the target judge. Uh, but one thing is for sure, these two all of a sudden have picked up their shooting pace. They seem to be going through the process a lot quicker. Indeed, indeed, which I think is better in, in the wind. Uh, I think it's a, it's a good approach. Maybe both of them learning from the mistakes they made in the semifinal. And uh, just the interesting thing I, I saw over there, uh, we see two uh, Egyptian archers who were shooting in the, in the team matches earlier today as agents down there in the target. And, but I was going to say in the first place was uh, uh, the, who's been recently crowned African champion. Uh, Yana Ali from Egypt is there as a as a coach for Ali, the 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 recurve man from 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 Egypt. There, it's it's cool to see teammates, uh, you know, supporting each other in different ways in the competition. Zero for Bahadin, two points for Mohammed Sharif, and the second end of this match. As we start. So 2 0 lead after one set for Sheriff Mohammed. And it'll be Baha Eldin Ali, the 21 year old, to start set number two. Eight. Great stuff by Mohammed, despite the wind that we can hear through the mics in the range. And another long hold, very long this time. Seven. Eight. 
Well, he looks pretty determined now. Sheriff Muhammad, uh, 29 out of a possible 30 to go 4 nil up. And he has taken control of this bronze medal match. Bernardo, um, for those that don't uh, shoot as many arrows as you, uh, which I am one, I don't shoot any arrows. Uh, I just watch a lot. <laughs> um, what, what, when you get to full draw, you know, we're talking about long holds all the time. For, for those that perhaps are new to the sport or don't see it as often, what actually is going through the mind of an archer at full draw holding on? Is it is it a mental thing? Is there a physical aspect to it? Uh, definitely both. But I think in a match like this, it's mostly the mental. It it It's almost a time warp, you know, sometimes uh, while at anchor, you might be holding for like three seconds, but in your mind, it feels like, I don't know, a minute because so many thoughts can come and go. And archery, it really comes down to confidence. So um, when you're not confident, when you are, you know, a little bit in doubt about whether the arrow is going to go, how the shot is going, you tend to take longer. Like this is a very common trait that we see in so many archers that the more nervous the, uh, they feel, the more tense they are, they tend to hold longer. And uh, really, shot timing is a very good indicator of confidence. And uh, yeah, just letting go, just trusting the process, it's, it's key in, in this situation. Well, Ali finds himself 4-0 down. We saw a couple of long holds in the last set. He starts the third with another long hold. He looked quite calm there, though. Was that a sort of deliberate, I'm holding here for the wind? Uh, it did seem like, I think his shot timing is not quite as fast as Mohammed's. Uh, so I think even though that one was a little bit long, I think it was quite similar to his usual shot routine. Just like maybe the one we're seeing now. Still looking solid, but maybe oh, his arm twitching a little bit. He's still in the goal. That's good stuff by him. Ten. But Mohammed is at it. He's really, really good form now. Well, I knew that one wasn't Seven. quite right. Did it cut the line? That's the big question. Called a seven provisionally. That's drifted out. Eight. Now the measure becomes very important. For a 26 for uh, Sheriff Muhammad, the seven, the last arrow, gives uh, Baha Eldin Ali 26 as well. But if that gets marked up to an eight, he's back in the match. Yes, I, I get a feeling it's an eight, but uh, like for the a billionth time today, we, we have to await confirmation. We've, we've had so many close calls here in Nabul today. It's, it's mind blowing, but um, it, it can make a big difference because if they tie and, and so split the set points, the then Mohammed is going to be in a very comfortable maybe. situation because then he's going to have two sets the in which he just needs to tie one of them to take the bronze medal while Ali is going to be in the exact same situation he was in the semi-final against Vern, South Africa, where he has to win the next two sets and then still go for a shoot-off. But let's wait confirmation. I didn't see an adjustment to Sheriff Muhammad's score, so I think that arrow was marked up. So the seven getting marked up to an eight, which gives uh, Ali 27 and the two set points in the third. He is back in this one. 4-2 down. Baha Eldin Ali of Egypt will shoot first in the full set against his compatriot. Good, solid shot. Wind wasn't blowing strong either, and good for him. Eight. And Mohammed may be giving him a little opening there. Uh, 
Oh, look at his arm taking long. Oh, but he managed to put it in 10. Great stuff. So he's got himself right back in the match here. Eight, maybe nine. Four set points apiece. Subject, of course, to... Uh, confirmation from the target judge and uh, you can see the camaraderie between the uh, athletes and in fact the coaches that uh, the athletes sharing a water bottle and uh, <laughs> I, th I don't think that uh, Sheriff Muhammad's coach is actually on the phone on the shooting line I think he's uh, he's doing some kind of um, skit to try and keep his athlete uh, nice and relaxed. We've seen some interesting... Uh, yeah, we've seen some interesting things this season with the coaches, haven't we? Uh, some some slightly more controversial than others, but it's all about keeping your athlete nice and relaxed, right? Indeed, indeed. And uh, they're, they're a level now, four set points each. And um, I've been spared from yet another commentator's curse because earlier in this match, I was about to say that, you know, it's done and dusted. Mohammed has got it. He's so much more solid. But wow, Ali, again, what a comeback. And everything is, uh, any of them could could walk away from the shooting line as a, the bronze medalist. Yeah, especially today. It's been a, a really strange day in terms of comebacks or near comebacks. Ali starts to fifth high into the eight. That's his worst arrow for a while now. And just like that, Muhammad finds himself back in the middle. Perhaps that... Uh, technique of the coach doing a little bit of a comedy play in the break has helped him another eight this time on the other side of the center of the target eight big arrow for ali here Puts it into the nine, nine for a 25. So seven for a shoot off anymore. And the bronze is with Muhammad. It's a nine, nine. for a 27. And wow, another topsy turvy match. It looked like Sheriff Muhammad was all over this. After two sets, he was 4 0 up. But a, an amazing fight back from Baha El Din Ali to level at four apiece. And then it just fell apart from him in the fifth and Three final set. Sheriff Mohammed from Egypt taking signal. the African Championship bronze medal here in 2023.